How are we doing guys and welcome to another episode of Early Access Spotlight and actually this game's like way 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 early access. This is a game called Startup Company. Um, it is not available on Steam yet. It is currently up for green light though so if you like what you're seeing today you can go ahead and vote on that and maybe someday we'll uh We'll get put over to Steam, but as of right now, we can pick up this game at StartupCompanyGame.com. I believe it was $10. Not entirely sure, but this game is super alpha, maybe even pre-alpha if you can call it that. He's saying beta 7, but it's not a beta, it's an alpha. Um, and so this is it, yeah. Not a whole lot of options. This game is pretty buggy. I got it in full screen right now. Um, one thing that I just noticed while trying to adjust the sound is that if you bring the master below halfway point right there no sound ready all right we got sound again no sound so uh so that's odd i'm not sure what's going on with that um i didn't check if there's a more recent update there might be but maybe not for all intents and purposes this shall work we're going to start a new game and we're just going to put in whatever here just put in the, the channel name if i can type um, it wants an email, it says required only for beta, I put y at gmail, that's not my email. Um, I don't know why it needs it, that's dumb, not gonna give him my email. Or you guys that, <laughs> either. So it's been a little bit since I've played, but uh, the concept is pretty simple. It's pretty similar to like a game dev tycoon, or like one of those style games, kind of, in like the slimmest slimmest fashion. Um, this one's 15. I think we can buy this one first. Can I buy it? I don't have any money. Oh, we gotta take out a loan for it. I forgot. Like I said, guys, it's been a minute since I played this. You gotta take out a loan right away. For whatever reason. You'd think you'd start with some beginning capital or something, but you don't. There we go. Now we can buy that. I should have, uh, reviewed a little bit before I started this video, but that's okay. So we gotta buy a desk. This is going to be for the employee, which we have to hire. And we're going to grab a developer first, and we can put his budget at whatever. If you leave it at zero, it'll just give you the cheapest guy, I believe. He's got a 45% speed rating. He costs $3,222 a month. We'll grab him. And that's all we need for now. we got to assign him to this workstation. And we're going to have him, so by doing that, he's not at this workstation. We can't assign him to, well, first we got to research it, like that. And then we're going to assign him to to make this component. Right. Hit fast forward here and see if he makes it. There we go. He's making his UI component, which we can then sell said UI component. And as you can see in the tree here, there's a multitude of different things this guy can eventually make at different levels. Right now we are tier 1. We unlock that at tier 3, etc, etc. Alright, so the crappy part is... Is that your people actually do go home at night so once we hit a certain time period like this it offers us to jump to the start of the day and he just kind of sits idle you can pay them to work overtime haven't really seen any real benefit to that unless you're on a deadline crunch this is pretty much it we're just going to keep making these for now um so this is our inventory so we're building these ui components up so we're actually saving them um we're going to grab another desk throw him there and what we're going to do Hire another guy, and we're going to uh, hire a sales person who we need to sell those. We're going to hire this guy. He looks good enough. Works for me. Oop, we don't need another one. We're going to assign him right there like so. And he's going to work on a contract. So these uh, businesses are going to offer us contracts, and we have to give them whatever they want. So they might ask for five... UIs, so we have a certain amount. We sell them to them for whatever price they deem fit. And that's pretty much the gist of it at this point in time. Alright, so we got a contract. We can respond to the contract. He wants two UI components. BD Emergency, he's going to give us $760 for it and four chargeable hours. We accept that contract. We already have, we have four out of the two necessary. We're just going to hit deliver. Bam, made $760. Bucks. Start this guy working on another one. Jump to the start of the day. We're almost at level 2 here. So it's all kind of based on this tier system. Leveling system. We can check our email here if we want. Okay, we unlocked web design. And to utilize the web design, we need another desk. 
and another employee. And he is in the developer under designer. So same process, I like to hire the cheapest guy. He's quicker anyways. We can assign him to this desk right here. Get hit. We gotta research it first. And have him start working on that. All right, congratulations on our new loan. Don't care about that. Welcome to Startup Company. This is just a little bit of information about the dev and stuff. Alrighty. Unpause the game. Let him keep on keeping on. We did hit tier two. That's how we unlocked that guy there. Already got another contract. So he wants two UI components. We can accept that. Deliver immediately. Close. Get him to work. So we can eventually automate this, and we need a manager to automate that. And I believe the managers can only do two at a time, um, which sucks. But what are you gonna do? All right, so we got them working. Not too shabby. We're gonna get another desk ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll see. Button it. Right click to rotate. That's how we do it. All right, waiting our response. This guy wants two UI components. Perfect, we got that. Deliver it, and Dunzi. All right, we're gonna hire another guy. We're gonna see if we can hire the manager yet. I don't know if we. We have to be level three, so we're just gonna keep grinding away until we hit level three. Contract. The only way you actually make money is by getting these contracts and selling, selling your components that you've already produced. It can be a little bit tricky, but you can save them up. So like, we got a bunch of web design components already. Your guys here actually level up as well, so he's at 81 percent We can upgrade him. Stuff like that. Oh, productivity, yeah. So his productivity increases. He has a level as well. His level right now is beginner. We can upgrade that when we hit level 5 up there. Alright, so this guy wants three of design components. We can do that. Deliver, close. Yep, we start him on the contract. Jump to the start of the next day. Not sure why that that's not just like automatic. Not sure why I have to click. He's gonna unlock another one when he hits level 3, or we hit level 3 rather. Same thing for this guy. So far I think we've only lost money. Alright, this guy wants three UI contracts, three UI components, and um, one web design component. We're gonna accept that, but we have to now Try to get this done as quick as possible here. We don't fail the contract. If you fail the contract, you do get negative money. You get a penalty for not completing it. So we have seven hours left. Hopefully he completes that time. Um, but they don't really give you one one of my dislikes about this is that they don't so we have four hours left. So the rest of this day. We would never have completed all that in one. That's kind of one of my major gripes with this game right now, is that you you have to have this you, you're building up your stock to then push you're not developing it for a certain person which doesn't seem quite realistic you don't have these people at like Google just building random UI components with the off chance that someday somebody will want it somewhere that you can sell to them <laughs> so <laughs> I find that that this style a little bit odd but so this guy, he wants uh, four web design components. We have 24 hours. Hopefully he'll get this last one pounded out here in time. And push them to work over now. And jump to the start of the next day here. We got a contract. Five, four hours. Hopefully he can finish this out. We're going to pay this penalty. Alright, he didn't did finish it. We have an hour left to go. If you see here, um, past Doofy, they actually hit us with that, and it can, I believe it can go below, actually, the payout, so. We're gonna hire, or we're gonna start another contract, get this guy, another web design, another UI component. We're gonna see if we can get this man. We're almost at the manager level, to where we can get a little bit of automation in. Alright, level, tier 3, level 3, whatever. Now we can unlock backend components and responsive components. Also, the manager, we can give our employees small retirement plans. And we unlock the couch or $800 bench. 
Um, and putting that kind of stuff in your office increases their happiness, which increases their speed, stuff like that. But for now, we're going to hire a manager. Oop, right there. Like that. This guy, because he's way cheaper. And we're going to set these guys. You manage. Um, we'll do these two guys. These are the guys that are developing things. I can keep manually doing the contracts. They take a while anyway. Now he's going to make these guys auto-renew. I don't have to manually click them every time. Oh, I have to go in here. I have to set this up to auto-repeat. So now they will continually develop that kind of thing. But now, now that we've unlocked this next stuff, they're going to start... They might start requesting things that I don't have yet. We'll see if, if that happens here. Deliver that one. Managed to get another two grand there. These guys are auto renewing. They're pounding stuff out. We got all kinds of stuff getting built in here. All right, not too shabby. Making a little bit of money. We're holding our head above water, just barely up here. We can click this. Bring up some finance tabs. Doesn't really tell us anything. Tells us who's buying it, which is kind of irrelevant. Um, currently, we are making negative five thousand eight hundred dollars more. We've accepted every contract. All right, got this contract. We can accept that one. Send it out. Boom, done. Jump to the start of the day. What else we got down here? So this is the products that we can um, we can make, but you can't make those until tier six or something like that. Which is actually where we get kind of thing. This our full-fledged own product. All right, accept that. Start another contract. Do we need an, each manager can only do two people, so we'd have to hire another man. Auto, which we're not going to do because we can't afford it. All right. So at this point in the game, I don't know. Like what to do. At this point in the game, you're just kind of grinding. Grinding to get these next levels to get them done. Working on contracts, accept them, send them out, collect your money, close, start it again. Stuff like that. Not a whole lot of stuff you can do at this point in the game. Which is kind of what, uh, kind of what drives me away. It's not very interesting at this point in the game. There's some stupid little things you can buy. You can buy a closet. Throw that there if you want. Um, you can look at our finances, we made $6,100 last month. Throw some burns. That's if you really wanted to. Another contract. Okay, so now this guy is asking for a back end component, which we don't have any, so we'll accept the contract. We're gonna pause it real quick. And we get to research the back end component. Put him on that now. We'll work the overtime to make sure that we can. We'll fast forward the game. Hopefully he gets that done in time. If not, we're going to get hit with a pretty hard feat. Well, we got 51 hours. He should be able to complete hopefully. Yeah, he'll complete that. Alright, got that one done. 2700 bucks. Not too bad. So, like I said, just at this point in the game, it's really grindy. I'd like a little bit more, you know, something else to do. I don't, like, I don't know what... Make this game better, but it just doesn't seem like there's anything to do at this point in the game. Put on some different things. Couches. A lot of sitting and waiting, waiting for the contracts. Um, in my first playthrough that I played a little while back, I had a little bit of problems with the fact that eventually the contracts will actually outpace you, so if you get too far ahead of yourself, the contracts don't keep up with you. So then you'll have an entire inventory of all this crap that you no longer need, and that no one wants, and then you just kind of hemorrhage money until you run out of money and die. Essentially, so... Um, I don't know that they fixed that. Okay, so here's the tier 4. 
we got a new employee and he's a lead developer he can create network components and web fronted modules so we'll hire another or hire a we're gonna purchase another desk throw him here grab an employee he's in the development tab lead developer we'll grab him yeah sure okay sign him here now he can merge certain things together, but you have to buy the blueprints. Or research the blueprints, which are in here, so we can research this. And what I actually ran into the first time is I didn't have this $8,000, because I was just kind of screwing around. And if you can't research this, once this becomes available, um, everything is going to start using like, this style of stuff. Throw one of those, like that. Oh, there we go. Click that up there, it'll pull the crap that you need. Merge those together, and now he's going to create a web front-end module. Speed up time here. And let's see if we can sell a web front-end module real quick. Alright, just some more little stuff here. He wants eight web design components. We'll do that. Give us six. That's worth it to us. We can get those for six. Guy's gonna keep making these. I mean, we're gonna have to put our guy back to making UI components because we got a couple back ends in that one. This actually doesn't require them. Wait for him to complete this one. Then we're gonna switch him back to UI components. Hopefully, nobody wants him to. Um, we can research this while we're in here, might as well. At some point, we will need that as well. A responsive component. One more of these. Contract is ready, see what they want. They want UI components, so we'll accept it. Hopefully we'll complete it in time. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. All right, that's done. Another 1900 bucks, start that again. Like I said, it's just a little grindy at the beginning. Hopefully it'll get better later in the game. I haven't really progressed that far because I kind of got bored the first time I played it. I played it for about an hour or so. I think I made it to like T5, but I was behind the game. The game had gone past me. I was unable to create anything and make money, which was unfortunate. This guy wants four. He wants eight web front end modules, seven network components, and three back end components. If I accept this, we're going to get screwed. Um, so the following contract is awaiting your acceptance. Please note that declining a contract will generate a 30 day cooldown period for that specific company. So if we decline this, Reddit will not offer us another contract. Now if we accept this, we're gonna f we'll accept it just to prove a point. Um, but there's no way we're gonna be able to... Alright, so he wants a bunch of... four more of these, I believe. An interesting concept, but in the end, it's a little short. But like I said, guys, it is still a pr like an alpha or a pre-alpha. Um, he's got a lot of work to go, and for ten bucks, I mean, I like to support small indie devs like this. Show support for our community, and not every game can be a, a, a hidden gem. But uh, when you find the ones that are, extremely, uh, extremely rewarding. So I like to support those kind of. Cause you never know what they're gonna make on the line. They got a little bit of time left. We might we might actually do this. We got a little, a little bit of time. 115 hours left. I kind of wish that was in day form. Keep making the. I think it's annoying that I have to jump start to the next day every time. That's a feature that I do not like. All right, guys, we finally managed to get all these. We got 46 hours left. Not too bad. So we're going to deliver this, and we're going to make 17, almost $18,000 off that. So that was a good profit on that. One thing, one little gripe that I don't like, I can't move this window here. Hope we reached tier 5. We can give them free beverages, database components, web backend modules. That up front, we got a water cooler and a plant. Um, so we got those. I can't move this. I don't like that. I can't resize it. It's in the middle of everything. It blocks my entire screen. Um, why can't I you know, move this over here? That way I can keep an eye on my guys. 
why that's locked into place. That's not something I like. I like to be able to resize it. Um, I don't know. Small little gripe. Um, so you guys get the general gist of this game. Um, a little bit, you know, there's a little bit more I could do. I could, you know, keep pushing on, but I honestly don't find it that fun. I'm already a little bit bored. I'm thinking about other games. Um, but if this kind of game does excite you, uh, go ahead and give it a try. I'll put the link down to the game in the description so you guys can check that out. Like I said, I think it was only 10 bucks, and it's just through uh, the guy's website. It's a single developer. Help him out. Support your local developers, your local indie developers, your local artists, your local small companies, all that kind of stuff, guys. You know, it, 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 it helps our community grow, and uh, you know we're going to get better games in the future. If you like this game, check that out. Um, in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe to my videos. Check me over on Twitter if you want to know when my videos are going live, when I'm going to be streaming, stuff like that. Until next time, guys, thanks for watching my video. Damn James, how you still alive? Must be a miracle. Man, I guess so. I'm not quite sure. I'm all quite dumb. But my mother said I'ma be famous. Young you are white up in the matrix. And I'm pulling up on every agent. Every shot you point is pointless, my diet skills be amazing Movie living motion picture on power paramount Said fuck bars, I ain't playing